Welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at the cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you for the week ahead. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading because this is how Spirit speaks directly to you. So take notice of any images that stand out for you, any messages that resonate. There's a personal message and guidance in there for you if you notice those things. So let's take a look at your first card. So it's the tree. Affairs with your family. So this week there is going to be some kind of interaction with or thoughts about or something happening with your family. Um, it might be extended family. It might be your immediate family it's going to be different for everyone how this energy plays out of course but some kind of dealing with or energy around your family let's take a look at your next card the money path a path with money is waiting for you to find it so we have you looking at your finances and it looks like there's going to be some kind of benefit, some kind of abundance financially that's waiting for you. Um, now, it might not be speaking just about this week. This might be something that is going to take a little bit of time to play out, but it's there for you. It's coming up in the cards, so it's it's there for you to um, take advantage of, to move toward actively it might be an active thing that you're doing it might not be a passive thing so um that abundance financially is along your path we have the bowl plenty of material things and and this card goes hand in hand with the money path so we have a bowl full of fruit a bowl full of money you're moving toward um, some some kind of improvement, abundance, um, something positive when it comes to your finances. So that's coming up soon for you this week or sometime very soon from when you view this reading. And you have flowers and that's about happiness. So this is always a great sign means that emotionally there's going to be some happiness. It might be because of the the path toward some kind of um some kind of abundance financially. It might be around uh, your family perhaps because we have that card also. And we have marriage, the card of marriage. So there might be a focus on your marriage. You might find that um, there is a deepening of a commitment. Um, marriage means there's a contract or an agreement that you have with someone and that's coming into focus. Um, and because it's marriage, it's to do with some kind of relationship, um, most likely with a significant other. But this can also represent um, bonds and relationships that are intense, that are serious um, so it can also represent someone else but those are the cards from that deck for you for this week so let's take a look at what this deck reveals let's see this one here the answer is no the angels have heard your question and the answer is definitely no so if you have been waiting on an answer of some kind then feel out in your intuition whether this is the the card whether this is the answer for you and one more card from this deck okay so very interesting the answer is yes the angels have heard your question and the answer is definitely yes so you might in fact have two questions and you'll have to work out in your intuition. You'll have to feel out energetically um, which question is for which answer because you have both here and that's quite rare to come up. 
So it might, in fact, mean that there is um, perhaps there is a no or a decline or something like this first because this card came out to begin with. But then because of this no, because you get a no, then you're going to get a yes. So I do feel that they're connected. All right, let's take a look at this deck. Aquarius, you may have an Aquarius in your life, uh, someone significant. And it says on this card, you're in a wild child awakens. So you might be feeling a little bit wild, a little bit untamed. You might be wanting to do some different things out of the box this week, something you usually wouldn't do. So there's that free spirit here. So there is some kind of free spirit energy that surrounds you. You might have an inspiration or you might have, you might have, um, you might receive some kind of guidance intuitively and you just go for it. You don't, you don't hold back this this free spirit energy with Aquarius has that sense of just trusting the universe and going with it. And you have Scorpio as well. So there may be a Scorpio around you. And this is this card is about a passionate, intense or mysterious phase. So this may be in a relationship because we have that that image here on the cards, an intense or passionate relationship, which goes hand in hand with the marriage of some kind, some kind of passionate bond agreement that you have. Um, this can also mean that there's some kind of mystery around someone that you're dealing with, something that you're not fully aware of. You don't really know the full story or there's just some mystery in some way that's going to come up this week for you this one here is yours the beautiful phoenix energy be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis now you will definitely know if this card is for you if you have been through crisis you'll know this is for you and you're going to rise from the ashes like the phoenix so what area of life is this for you? For some, it may be financial because we have the financial element coming up with the first few cards. It might be to do with marriage, might be to do with family. But be prepared to be renewed. I'm seeing a miraculous change. So expect and be prepared for this upliftment and this this big change that I'm seeing that you might not, you might not be expecting it. The coffin means there's some kind of ending, an ending that's happened recently. There's um, someone may have passed recently. Um, there's an ending and it says on this card, natural endings abound, take care with your health. So also this week for you, because it's about health, um, lifestyle, health and well-being. um, a focus on that, uh, may be important to you or there's supportive energy for that this week. All right, let's see what this deck here reveals for you. I'll lay the cards out first and then we'll take a look at the center card. This one here is important. So let's see what it is. It's the High Priestess. Okay, so this High Priestess is about your intuition. It's about what your instincts are telling you. I do feel that you may be in a period of withdrawal. You may be in a period of stepping away from someone or something there's a sense here of needing to take time and that's totally okay. That's totally okay to take time. And by doing this, you'll be cultivating your connection to your own intuition, to your highest path and to spirit. 
Let's see. The Magician. Okay, so The Magician is about your own ability to manifest things. And I'm seeing with the selection of cards that has come out for you, I feel that you're at the cusp of a new beginning of some kind. You're gearing up for a new beginning. And you want it to be or you're manifesting it in a certain way that's right for you. There is a creative element here, which is magical with the magician. You may find that this week you're seeing things in a more spiritual way, a more magical way. But I really love that element coming into play. The Empress, this is about nurturing yourself and nurturing, nurturing others caring for others or if that doesn't resonate it's about it's about nurturing and caring for something that you want to see grow that you want to see develop that you want to see move in a really great positive direction and so that seems to be a focus this week for you the ten of pentacles okay so the pentacles is about money, finances, and that definitely came up with the earlier cards here. So there seems to be a movement or an intention toward some kind of stability materially, financially for you. And with the ten of pentacles, it's likely that you're going to achieve this. And even if you're feeling that things are a bit bumpy or rocky at the moment materially for you I feel there's such a supportive energy there's a change that's going to happen that you might not see coming like these two cards you might be rejected or get a no for something and then you know financially speaking or materially speaking and then it actually opens the door to something better which is the yes so let's see what this final card is. It's the Hermit. So the Hermit is about finding a different way, a way that you're feeling sure of, even if it's not in the beginning. You're feeling sure of yourself moving down this path in time. And we have this beautiful butterfly here, which does remind me of this energy of the Phoenix. So I feel these two are connected. I feel that there's a renewal coming in some way after some drama, after a crisis, after some heartache. And the hermit is you taking your power back in, in certain ways and following your own inner light. So there is an empowered energy here with the hermit. And the hermit is also about withdrawing and taking a step back for a period. And you'll see in time, you'll see that because you've done this, because you have taken a step back or have had to take a step back from someone or, or your life in general in some way, that it will bring through this miraculous change this positive blessing um, in your life so some powerful energy is coming through for you this week i hope that you've enjoyed the reading it's been wonderful to read for you stay blessed and i'll talk to you again soon bye for now